There's been a lot of debate about how Western media has covered Israel's war on Gaza. And the question is whether their reporting is presenting a balanced picture or is there an intentional tilt? I would call it manipulation and whitewashing. The way that uh, the press frames the issues, especially issues of foreign policy, often mimics not only what the US government says, but what's very odd is it also mimics what the Israeli government says. You realize that there is a pattern in how actions by the West, especially by the United States and Israel, is justified through the media. It affects the way the public understands the situation on the ground, and it affects their ability to form opinions on it that are honest. There's been questionable reporting on Palestinian killings and even straight out fabrications. Remember the stories of beheaded Israeli babies. Babies, their heads cut off. Beheading children. There's this outrage effect when you have headline after headline that says something like 40 be Hamas beheads 40 babies. Um, once you try to retract that information, the disinformation has already spread, even though that particular case has been debunked. At the same time, we have seen video footage of many headless Palestinian children. And yet that gets no coverage. Then there's the use of language, dehumanizing Palestinians' clear alignment with Israel's perspective and parroting of Israeli talking points. Palestinians are dehumanized because they are nameless. They don't have stories. But when there are victims on the Israeli side, you see profiles that talk about these people because they are in fact people. You'll see things like in, in recent uh, headlines about Israeli soldiers throwing Palestinians off of a roof in the West Bank. The, the headlines that you see say things like apparent lifeless bodies. That's not how it would be described if the victims were Israeli. That's the other way that the headline reads it. Israel is investigating itself. And this also has become normalized, uh, not only within the US political discourse, but the media has normalized it, as if it is normal for the criminal to investigate itself. We have asked the Israeli authorities to investigate this incident. We have urged a swift, thorough, and transparent investigation, and they have told us they are conducting a full uh, criminal investigation. And so the media's role is complicit with that of the state in just repeating certain PR and propaganda that justifies Israel's actions, even as far as genocide in Gaza. History records eventually the truth in, in long term. Um, and I think that's being recorded right now. We see the, the beheaded children, we see the charred bodies, the just grotesque images every single day, live streaming from you know, social media and uh, smartphones and other cameras and devices directly from Gaza, from journalists that are on the ground, Palestinian journalists who, many of which have been killed by Israel. So that the truth is already there and you can see the shifting narrative. 